Welcome to today's vlog. I'm getting myself ready right now, clearly, because I'm gonna go out tonight for dinner and drinks. So I'm literally just getting ready and I was like, might as well just vlog. I, earlier I got home from the mall, which I haven't done a whole lot of shopping at the mall. And I found some stuff and I was like, I wanna do a haul. So I was like, might as well just do a get ready with me and then I'll do a haul of the stuff that I got. I went to Victoria's Secret. I went to Morphe, I went to Abercrombie, Lush, like a few different stores. Speaking of Morphe, I um, bought some brushes that I wanted to try. But um, right now, all I have on are my eyebrows, the lighting in here. Let's not even talk about it. So I kind of did my brows off camera because I can't really concentrate when I do them. On camera oh and I went to Sephora too and right now that I'm doing my makeup I just remembered that I forgot to get I want to get a good what's a good concealer that you guys recommend for carving your brows because I think I'm gonna end up getting a lighter shade in this one because I really like this concealer for carving my brows I just don't have a shade that's like highlighting enough for my brows but if you guys have one that you recommend that you think really good for cleaning up your brows let me know and i don't even have moisturizer on my face for my moisturizer i'm using the kiehl's ultra facial cream i'm back to using this one i was using my cerave again surprisingly the cerave one has not given me that eczema that i was getting on my neck um i don't know what that was but it's not doing that anymore so i was using that for a while but now i'm like i need something a little bit more hydrating so i've been kind of going back and forth with the cerave one and the kiehl's one they're both really good just the kiehl's one's like a little more hydrating for the other stuff i'll do the haul after i finish getting ready but i'll show you the makeup stuff that i got because i'm going to use some of it right now anyway so i'm going to just show you so i went to nordstrom and sephora i feel like i look so washed out right now i need to go get i need sun i need a tan i need a vacation like vacation me asap <laughs> but i uh, bought a few things that i kind of was eyeing so I've always wanted to get this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighting Powder Jelly. This is in the shade Heat Wave. I've heard so many good things about this highlighter. And um, I haven't purchased the highlighter, I feel like, in a while. So it's this one right here. This is what the box looks like. I picked it up at Nordstrom. I think only Nordstrom carries it, if I'm not mistaken. Sephora doesn't have it, I don't think. Um, and it looks like this. So I'm going to try that for tonight. And then I got a new foundation that I'm going to try out right now on camera. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is a brand new foundation. Looks just like that. It's supposed to be like a super skin-like foundation. So it says that it gives you like healthy looking skin. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285%. Long-lasting pollution defense. And what else does it say? Undetectable coverage, improves the look of skin, clinically proven results. And I can't read the rest because there's a sticker, but it's supposed to minimize appearance of pores, pigmentation, and dark spots. And your skin appears instantly brighter. So I got shade 7 Neutral. Let's open this up. This kind of gives me like a CC cream look, but that is what that packaging looks like. Looks really pretty actually. And it does have a pump. It looks kind of like the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I think this is going to match me perfectly. But I'm just going to tell you right now. Because I'm using bathroom lighting. And it's overhead lighting. It might look way off. Just like my eyebrows right here. It looks like really weird. That's bathroom lighting for you. Before I even try this though. Let me show you what other stuff I got. So I used my points to get this Kiehl's set. This is a mask and a facial cream since i like the facial cream i thought i would get the little mini version it was like 300 points i think that is what that came with right there and i bought a new blush so this blush right here if you've been on my channel for a while if you've been subscribed for a while 
you know that i used to rave about this blush by nars it was a duo it was called a duo intensity or a dual intensity blush duo or something like that in the color frenzy or in the shade frenzy this is from tarte it is a cream blush and that nars one was a cream to powder finish this one kind of looks a little bit like that i swatched it in store and the color is like a peach tone very similar to that one and that nars one is discontinued so it looks just like this so this one doesn't come with the highlight obviously it just has the blush but that looks very similar to the nars shade so i'm hoping that it is and then for my lip today i think i'm gonna go with this combo that i bought so i got the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in the color hot gossip this color is bomb i looked at it in store the other day and it was sold out sold out sold out and i went today randomly and they had it in stock i'll show you when i apply it and then i got a new sephora lip stain i've told you guys about these i talked about these in my favorites video so i got a light nude shade it's called 32 nude blush and i'm planning on putting it on top hopefully i'll have time to show you the other stuff and i'm not like rushing if not i'll show you guys tomorrow tomorrow or sunday what i end up getting and then i or what i ended up getting and then last thing is fragrance i got this from sephora um to keep it in my purse so i've heard good things about this clean reserve perfume i don't know if this exact scent but i got the scent skin it smells very clean very airy so i wanted to have this one in my purse i wanted a very versatile perfume that i can carry with me on days where i'm like oh shoot i forgot to put something on or if i want to touch up throughout the day the packaging i love it's like a squared um it's not a roller ball it's actually a spray which i prefer sprays instead of roller balls and um it smells so incredibly good i might even spray some well i don't know if i'm gonna do it tonight but it kind of has a sweeter sweeter clean scent to it it's really 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 pretty all right let me try this foundation the foundation feels kind of kind of thick Oh yeah, that matches. I was scared. I was like, is it going to match? But it does. And I'm going to stand far because I don't want it to look too crazy. So I would say so far, just like applying it really quick. It feels kind of like the It Cosmetics CC cream. The textures uh, kind of like whipped. That's exactly how the It Cosmetics one feels. So, so far, I want to say... It's like a medium coverage, I would say. I wouldn't say it's like super full, but the finish is super skin-like, just how they describe it to be. And the color, I think, is fine. I think if I would have gone a little lighter, it would have been too light. And then spring is around the corner. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit more sun, but it does look really nice and skin-like. I'm trying to see if it feels heavy. I wouldn't say it's completely lightweight. I can feel that I have something on my skin. But usually when you get nice coverage, um, that's what you get. First impression, it's really nice. Really, really, really skin-like. You can see the glow. It's not a matte finish. It's more of a dewy, hydrating radiant finish lately i've been into highlighting the inner corner and then uh doing more of a deeper concealer in the center i'll show you right now so i like to do the bright one in here and then out here and then i like to do the one that is more similar to my skin tone in the center it's all gonna blend together anyway but i kind of like doing it like this because the elf one oh i'm not even talking or not even showing you what i'm using so for the highlight i used elf in medium sand this is super matte so you have to blend quickly and then this is natural beige and Too faced born this way 
I used this brush on my Instagram story. I did a, like a mini, not a get ready with me, but I just kind of gave you a makeup breakdown on there. And I got a lot of questions about this brush. This is the Morphe M536. I used it for my under eyes instead of a beauty blender. And it fits perfectly, especially up here because I have lash extensions. Sometimes I, want, I need something a little bit smaller than this. I maybe like the Morphe, I think it's the E8. It's like a small one. I used to have it, but it broke, so I need to get a new one. But uh, it's perfect for lash extensions. This one I'm just using because I don't have that other one. I think it is the Morphe E8. So from Morphe, what I bought, I bought two brushes. Whenever I go to the mall, there's a Morphe store. I always go in and look because sometimes they have brushes that have been out of stock for a while or whatever. So I got the M451. This is a details highlight brush. I have a fan brush, but I don't, I do actually have a, a, like a highlighting brush like this, but I haven't tried this specific one. So I got that and I'll use it today with the Estee Lauder. Then I got this E49 flat pointed powder brush and I'm gonna use this for under eye powder because it looks really good. Looks like this. Now on the side it's like thin. It looks like it fits perfectly like for a little baking action. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Mm, yes. Shush, shush. That fits perfectly under my eyes. I'll just use my Sephora powder in 56 as a baranza. And I'm using this Equal Tools. Oh no, not this one, this one. This Equal Tools brush in. It's the multitasking powder. It's like this fluffy brush. I like this powder as a bronzer a lot because it gives me like a very sun-kissed look and I find that this matches my uh, complexion really well. See that just looks so good and then now that my eyes are nice and bright I feel like it just makes me look really awake and it kind of highlights my uh, what do you call this like <laughs> waterline there you go a little bit without even having to add like a white eyeliner it just gives you more of that like baby doll bright look which is kind of cute so at least that's what i'm into right now and then now that i'm done bronzing the f out of my face um and by the way when you're going for a night out i have mentioned this before or any time you're doing your makeup, have a little basket. I literally got this at Target. I need to get a new one because um, it's starting to look dirty on the inside. But have a little basket so you can throw all of your makeup products that you're using in there. And then your counter space is clean once you're done getting ready and you don't come home to a dirty sink or a dirty whatever. Um, that way you can just come home, take your makeup off and not even have to worry about it and it's like you still have to put the stuff away where it goes but it's all in one space it's a game changer a game changer or even if you have a little bag that has your everyday makeup that would be fine too so from there next step let's do highlight and then i'll do the cream blush on top Hopefully that doesn't look crazy. Ooh, that's pretty. The only thing is, I hate when I put highlight right here because I have a, like a line on each side and it kind of highlights that. I need to avoid that. I hate when I do that. I don't know what that is, but... I actually didn't mean to put highlight tonight, but I wanted to try it for the sake of it being a new product to my collection. Oh my gosh. This is 
stunning. I put a little too much, but I'm gonna blend it. But this is like that NARS one, but I think it's a little more pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. So let me, I'm just kind of putting on a lot and then I'm gonna blend it out with my, my bronzer brush that I used just so that adds some powder on top to set it too. All right, I put a new battery in. My lip color, I'm gonna use the two that I showed you guys earlier. I'm kind of digging like the side part moment. I did a quick curl in my hair and I'm kind of liking the side part. It gives me like grown, grown woman. Okay, so let me, I'm so annoying. Let me line my lips. I did a rough outline of that and then let's take a deeper one this is my NYX lingerie lipstick in Teddy and I like to use this as a lip liner and on top I'll do this one this looks really light so I am gonna blend this light And then I'm going to blend it with that same finger. I used to be so scared of these light lip colors, but if you use the right lip liners, it'll look nice. And then you can always um, add, what do you call it? Add a gloss and with like a light color like that, it really makes it pop. So that is my makeup for tonight. I feel like I look good. I feel good. I feel like I look good. <laughs> and then um just gonna add a little bit of this uh setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me clean my finger first. And then for my outfit, I think I'm gonna do just all black is kind of what I'm aiming for. I don't want to think about it like I just want to throw something on really quick and you can't go wrong with all black you only have to think about it okay, so now all my makeup is in these two and I don't even have to clean my bathroom is clean and I'm ready for my night out <laughs> this top that I'm thinking of wearing is supposed to be part of the haul that I was going to show you I got it from Express and they didn't have any mediums so I'm hoping that this one will fit. It's just a v-neck, v-neck front, v-neck back. I actually partnered with Express like a few months back and I had tried some of their basics for the first time, like their newer basics and they were so good so I had to go back and get more. I've been meaning to go back and purchase more and um, so this one is like a ribbed there you go there you can see it's ribbed and um it's a v-neck in the front v-neck in the back and it is a thong which i prefer i don't even know why they make bodysuits in like a regular <laughs> underwear like a full-on coverage one because then you put on leggings and it's like everybody can see everybody can see the lines like come on now so i love the fact that it's a bodysuit so i'm gonna pop this on probably put on some like leggings Leggings are like flowy pants. I kind of want to touch on my curl a little bit. Okay, so for my outfit, I am going with this top and these black. I'll give you a full outfit look right now. I kept the tan on because I wanted to see. I'm going to give you a full outfit look. I had music playing, but I had to stop it because copyright. But um, this is the top. And then my pants are from Rebellious Fashion. They're these loose, I think that's what it's called, loose kind of like work pant. And then on the bottom, they're like nice and flared. I'm going to, I'm not going to wear heels. I want to be comfortable. So I kind of want to do maybe like a sandal or something. Um, and then these came with tassels on the bottom, but I cut the tassels off. I actually got these pants because I saw them on Aaliyah, aka Aaliyah's face, if you guys watch her 
videos and I really like them so I ended up getting them. They're like super lightweight and comfortable and like I was telling you guys in one of my Vlogmas videos I think, um, if you ever are cold for a night out or if you live somewhere cold but you want to be cute and warm, with these kind of pants you can always wear leggings underneath and you can't even tell so it adds like a layer of um, fabric that way you're like a little bit warmer so that's my outfit just kind of comfy and stuff i'll probably throw on some jewelry right now i already have my bracelet on but i'll probably put on a little bit more just to complete the look but that is the outfit i can finally be on here and do some outfits in this mirror without my background over there because um, if you watch my other vlogs you would have seen that my tv stand was not here so i was using those two ottomans right there as a tv stand but now that it's there i feel like it completes that little area and now i can take outfit pictures right here if i want to so yeah i'll link this uh top and this pant hello okay i'm gonna do a haul now of the stuff that i um wanted to show you guys from the mall because I feel like I found some cute stuff. Um, I actually didn't really go with much in mind aside from getting new panties because I've been, all the panties that I have are like thongs and stuff. So I wanted to get some other ones. Aside from that, I just found like other stuff. So I showed you, showed you that top that I got from Express that was like a V-neck bodysuit that I wore the other night. And then I guess I'll start with that stuff. And then I also showed you the makeup stuff that I bought from Sephora and whatnot. So from Express, I also found this bodysuit top right here. What size did I get? I got a small. And it was also on sale for that like 40% off. And I like it because it the color of it kind of reminds me of the Skims bodysuits. So I decided to get this. The only thing I wish that they had, which I have to check online, I wish they had matching leggings because that would be perfect. Like a little set. But it's just a thick double lined bodysuit and it is a thong bodysuit which i appreciate and it's like this muted blue tone that is very in right now so i love the color of that and then i also got the same one in black because when i was looking in my closet i was looking through my tanks and i was like i don't have any black bodysuit tanks aside from my skims one but the skims ones are kind of like a thinner tank so i wanted to get one that's a thicker strap tank same thing thick thong bodysuit so love the quality of those and then i went into abercrombie and fitch to try to look for some jeans but the jeans that they had just kind of fit really weird so from them i prefer to look online especially because they have more size on there but from there i just found this really cute and simple kind of like cropped crew neck i got it in a size large i love to get my sweaters usually in like medium or large this one was 69 bucks and it looks just like this it's a little bright but it just has some writing on it and then on the bottom it says hotel and spa paris and i just thought it was a cute white simple crew neck i love crew necks like this to throw over like leggings it's kind of bright like with leggings or something just to keep it super casual and like loungy and the material the fabric of this feels really nice and lightweight but cozy so i love that i yeah i probably would wear this with leggings kind of like tucked in maybe a baseball cap like this for like a chill running errands day so i thought that was cute and then i went to lush which i never go into lush but i was like let me see what they have and i found these bath bombs that would be so perfect for valentine's day maybe i'll pop one in the bathtub on valentine's day but i got two of these rose heart shaped bath bombs and if you're having like a galentine's and you want to get you know your gals your girlfriends a little something this would be cute to like make a little goodie bag with i might do that i don't know we'll see but i thought that was so pretty so you put this in the tub and then it kind of like disintegrates into a fizzy soapy bath bomb and then you'll have small little roses in your bathtub super romantic and cute got two of those and it smells like fresh roses 
so yeah and last but not least uh the stuff from victoria's secret i don't know why i thought i had more stuff but i guess not i got a set from there well i'll show you the undies first and then i'll show you this cute lounge set that i bought i had bought this set for my mom for christmas and i went into the store recently and i saw that they had it in gray i bought hers in black and i was like i really like the set but i want a different color aside from black and they had it in gray so i'll show you that right now but um instead of thong body thong body suits instead of thong undies i ended up getting like just the cheeky ones i found these that are cute cheetah cheetah leopard print so i got two of those they were on sale not the best sale that they have but they I got two of those print and then i got two black ones i'm very simple when it comes to my undergarments i just like to keep it simple i wear a lot of black and nude bras so these would go perfectly with the bras that i already have and then i got a new like a plain nude pair and i like that they're lacy but they're cheeky so they're still a little more comfortable but because they're uh lace you won't be able to see the line i don't like when i get cheeky pennies and then you the line is super seamed so you can see the line like through your leggings and stuff i don't like that so i like to get like uh lace ones or ones that aren't gonna show the line but that aren't like a full-on thong so this is the set that i got and i got in a size small and it is a v-neck which i don't really have a lot of loungewear pieces that are v-neck a lot of my sweatshirts are more crew neck style and so this is a kind of like a nice little switch up and it's like a marled gray it's not white and it's not pure gray it has like a mixture of a deeper gray and a lighter gray and you can see the material is very flowy very comfy lightweight and it's more of a tunic style too because it's a little bit longer and i like that because sometimes i like to wear my tops like over my leggings and sometimes i like to tuck it in so this uh, fabric's gonna make it really easy for me to tuck it in or if i want to be a little bit more covered in the back that's good too and then it comes with these pant legging jogger style bottoms <laughs> so same color and then they are like kind of skinnier at the bottom and they have this thicker like jogger like fabric at the bottom so i thought that set was cute for like lounging again or going out grabbing some coffee or running some errands or something and that's everything that i got <laughs> i thought i had more to show you guys but apparently that is it that's it for the haul hopefully you enjoyed i just wanted to literally get ready on camera with you guys vlog style and then show you a quick haul of random pickups that i got at the mall but hopefully you enjoyed and thank you guys for tuning in any stuff like the sweatshirt bodysuits and whatnot i'll link it down below for you guys in case you're interested i love you guys i'll see you all in my next video